What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna do something we usually don't like doing, and that's kind of bash a small local event. Sixty bucks we'll never see again, plus twenty-three dollars for parking. <laughs> so, so what we're joking about and talking about is a local. It's not just local to here. It's actually a company puts it on, and it kind of moves around a little bit. It's a what they're calling an inter international motorcycle show. Yeah. Right. Um, and this is an event that we've been giving a chance for at least. Three years we've done it. Well, four years, three events. Right, because there was the there was, there was a the, down year, the down year, the down in there year. with the with the yeah, with life the, events that were with, going on in the, the world. Stuff. Um, but we've tried this thing three times. From the first time we went, it was bad. It wasn't awesome. Wasn't awesome. But it was grassroots. It was just getting going. Right. And then it was a down year. Mm hmm And then there was last year, which you and I went. And, and we went on a Friday, and we went when they first, so it's like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday mm -hmm. event. Yeah. We went Friday, like, before they even opened the doors, we were down mm -hmm. there. So I tried to give that, you know, put that into perspective, because they're pretty much just kicking off and, like, not even, like, rolling yet. Yeah. Uh, and that wasn't great. No. Gave it another chance this year, and we went on a Saturday, and we went a little later in the day on Saturday to give it a chance to, you know... There to be people and the events, you know, actually happening. Uh, so we're talking about the Atlantic City or National Motorcycle Show. Put on by uh, Jam, Jam on Productions. Productions. And they do stuff in Maryland. They do stuff in PA. They do, they do things in other areas. And those shows may be better. Could be. I know they do Baltimore the weekend mm -hmm. after they do Atlantic City. So yeah. I'm sure a lot of... The bikes they get entering their competitions yeah. and maybe vendors and stuff are local to that area. Maybe yeah. it's better in Baltimore. So, but judging from what we've seen, I don't know that I want to drive to Baltimore to find out. Well, I wouldn't drive to Baltimore to find out right. after Atlantic City. And, and so. that's, you know, that, that's kind of where I'm at. It seemed like the second year things got a little bit bigger. They had some really cool, um, you know, custom bikes there are all kinds of different kinds of custom bikes there guy de remade like uh the walking dead motorcycle there there was a couple of batman motorcycles that were signed there was just some cool stuff the second year that we went uh plus we met bednars down there there were dealers there that the was gonna say year. there were motorcycle dealerships our local motorcycle dealer not a harley dealer but yeah. mount holly motorsports, motorsports yep. was down there they had their electric bikes down there they had they had uh, representatives from Zero, which is the electric bike line that they carry, who were there, not just their sales reps. Um, a lot. It of, showed a little promise last yeah. year, which and, is why uh, we went back this year. This year was uh, so. I was I, I was actually mad. I paid twenty dollars. Yeah. So it's put on. It, it's held at the Showboat in Atlantic City, and previously they had this big section. It was basically used to be an old. Casino floor, mm -hmm. which had no longer had any games or tables or anything in it. It was cleared out, and that's where it was at. So it was like it had, they had the room. Yeah. Well, apparently this, you know, in the last year or so, they did some remodeling to the showboat, and they put in a like go kart track. Yep. Where that was held. Which doesn't even really look that cool. They weren't even no, really. They, all that you could tell the showboat whole different side story, but they're trying yeah. to go towards like a family friendly game yeah. center kind of place. They're building a water park right outside in what was one of their parking lots, and we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, so that area obviously was no longer available, and yet I guess showboat was still willing to host, and they were still willing to use the place. So a good half of the event was basically in a casino hallway. In a hallway. Hallway. I and mean, things lined up in this hallway. So you're trying to stop to look at these bikes that are lined up along the walls of the, of the hallway. And yeah. people are trying to walk past. You can't take pictures. You barely got any pictures because you stopped to take a picture. And, you know, you know, people, a lot of you New Yorkers that don't really have any manners, just kind of walked right well, by there. I mean, you're, um, all, you're all crammed in there. And what people need to know is that it's just not, it wasn't even a regular hallway. It was a hallway with bikes that really... Couldn't even have been parked like perpendicular in the hallway. Everything had to be parked, you know, kind of like down the hallway type of a style mm -hmm. or angled off because I had to. Well, there wasn't enough room. It was kind of a fire hazard, to be honest with you. 
<laughs> it might have been, man. And then, you know, <laughs> off of that hallway, there was like one average size room for this kind of event where they tried to cram in all of the vendors with their little tables and tents and things. And by average um, size, I mean maybe <sighs> maybe two high school gymnasiums. If that, yeah, but yeah. I, I mean, if you that. know, being not being dramatic, I mean, one high school gymnasium, it feels like it was bigger than that, but, you know, maybe, maybe two. But when you throw in the swap meet area, which is basically parts th th strewn about the floor all over the I mean, place. you have to be careful where you walk. Like It were. was narrow little sections to walk. It was, I know we sound like we're, like, being little <laughs> crybabies, but... You know, again, we don't usually do this. We give these guys but chance if you're because gonna charge, we appreciate it. If you're going to charge $20 to get into a freaking event, like, you need to do better. It offered nothing for $20. You need to do better. $20, you need to bring some kind of value. It's It, it, it was a $5 event. It, easy was a $5 event. And, you know... It was, it, you know, there's, I mean, there's no food there, really. There was, like, people selling baked goods outside. I mean, it yeah, was... Yeah, no, like, no food. There was, was a couple of... Was a uh, bizarre. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, that's a whole other subject, but it is bizarre some of these vendors you get at motorcycle events, you know, selling their hot sauces and things. Like, it just doesn't go. Which but. is fine, but, I mean, you had people selling sports memorabilia. <laughs> weird. <laughs> it was weird. Like, sports memorabilia. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah. Yeah, it just, it was, it was just not good good it was crammed you could tell like they still wanted to have it at the showboat even the showboat really didn't have the space for them so they shoved it all in there mm -hmm. charged you 20 bucks per person parking this is the yeah. first year the parking was an issue parking 23 or 25 i thought it was 25 I think it was 25 because we had to park in the casino garage. parking garage Previous years, uh, there was a massive parking lot right next to the showboat, which was well, we got in early, and it wasn't they weren't even charging to park there. Yeah. There was another lot right across the street from the showboat that was available for which, five or ten bucks. I think they were like five or ten dollar lots. Well, like, like I said earlier, they are now have this massive construction project going on, eating up the entire one parking lot. In a, it's a giant indoor water park. Yep. Which, like I said, showboats go in like family friendly, mm -hmm. you know, entertainment area. Like Grey Wolf Lodge. Right. Or like whatever people have. Now, them. the yeah. other lot now had all the parks. Construction stuff in it. So, both, <laughs> all the construction from that was over there, just, and that was a closed lot. So, you had to park in the parking garage, 25 mm -hmm. bucks. And there were people parking in that lot, but it did specifically say, you know, permit only, you know. I don't know how they got in. It was roped off. Yeah. I, I'm not just, sure what they did, but so 25 for parking, 20 ahead. There was the three of us, so it was 60 bucks to get in there, $25 for parking. Not worth it at all. No. And I'm sure throughout this video, you'll be kind of showing them with some of our footage. We got a little yeah. bit of footage, but we couldn't get a ton of footage. But, but here's the thing. Like, we were in there five minutes, and I just kind of looked over at Bert, and I said, uh, we're not filming. This is not, <laughs> this is not gonna be video. I mean, this is I I can't I can't in my right mind <laughs> make a video about this show that is like you know it, it's just too many so many people. Um, a lot of the pictures, you know, and I'll throw some of the pictures up here. But a lot of the pictures um, I got, I had to get like close cropped in, and because you couldn't take pictures from far away from a bike, you couldn't get like a whole bike in a photo. Very hard. Well, I wasn't even going to try to video. Yeah. With, without saying names, yeah. a, a local MC was, you know, very, very heavy there. And they, they don't. And they don't appreciate you getting them in any footage or even, you know, they see picture. you with the camera, they get all crazy. So, they, they, I mean, you they, know, they get, they get we've, we've seen them all over the place in our area. So we know, you know, if they're around, we don't, we don't really try to film near them. So it was like not even, not even worth He was taking still shots, you know, yeah. we didn't take any video. And just kind of took shots of, of the bike. It was just a mess. It was not worth going and, to. And, and you know what? There's, you know, not, not to go down the MC, you know, rabbit hole, but there, there's lots of them who don't want their bikes photoed, yeah. don't want their bikes in videos, and they don't want to be in videos. And that's, you know, that that's fine. That's every, that's everybody's right. Um, but it was difficult to film there. And uh, we didn't. We didn't really do any video. No. I Except have, maybe you did videoing of the bikes, I, but I have some. a little bit, but mostly still shots. I you mean, know. it was kind of, and that was kind of our purpose for going to at least, you know, go down there and get a, you know, it's the mm -hmm. winter here, you know, if there's a motorcycle event going on, we can do a video on, 
even if it's not the best thing in the world, it's something. Yeah. Um, and then get there to find out, well, now we can't even do that because of this issue. So, And it was just so <sighs> crowded. Like, it's hard to film when it's crowded. But, I mean, that, that, if all that aside is not the reason why I didn't enjoy the show. I thought the fact that they banged you $20 and the only parking that was there was like over $20 to park in a casino lot. Which, mind you, I go to casinos frequently. You know, we go down there for dinner all the time. $20 is a lot. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's a yeah. lot, you know, to park in Atlantic City. It is. Um, you know, I mean, that's like that's like Eagles game parking in Philadelphia. I, I mean, was definitely, like, I guarantee it's not that all the time there at Showboat. 100% you know, it's not that, that all the time. They bumped that up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it was, it's not worth going to. If you're in this area, Jersey or whatever, next year and you see it come up, because I know a friend of my wife's that she works with, they're, her and her boyfriend are kind of new into motorcycle riding. And, and they were going. And she was going and she was all excited because she went and bought tickets, you know, for her boyfriend thing. And this was going to be like an awesome event. And then this is what they were treated to for $40, you know, for the two of them and then the parking. Like, 40 it was, bucks. it's not worth your ride. It wasn't worth the hour ride down there. No. I mean, listen, the only cool thing about going down there is we got to hit a vagabond, which is like one of our lunch spots. We're always going to make the best of it. I mean, right. I mean, we're always going to. This is one of those few things where I'm telling you, I'm not even like saying, oh, you know, do if you want. Don't go. Don't waste your time. Don't go. Don't go. (laughs) You know, we were the opposite the last couple of years. Go, go. Try to make, you know, more people go. Maybe they'll grow. Maybe they'll get better. It doesn't look like they're putting a lot of effort into getting better. No. So why spend money on and, and you know and, no. and help them out? The most bizarre thing of the show is when you walk down the hallway of bikes that people were like you know transversing by each other for, trying to stop to look at bikes, but traffic's like moving, moving. You got down to the end of the hallway to like <laughs> this really this bugs you. <laughs> this is like you get down to the end of the hallway and there's like 50 people in this foyer at the end of the or hallway. More. Maybe more. Maybe it could have been 100 people in that room. There were a lot of people in that room. Crowded around the bike with a sound system. It was loud. <laughs> That's about all I can say. But I mean, it was weird. It's bizarre that they all. It wasn't even that nice of a bike. It just had a really probably expensive it was, sound it, system. It, it wasn't. It really wasn't that nice of a bike. I mean, it was. It was you know, whatever. It was you know. Probably a big wheel bagger. But it wasn't that intriguing. I expected there to be a show or something going I, on. I didn't. Somebody I, doing something. It was just I, a couple guys standing next to this bike playing his music and then all these people just stand there watching and all like it was amazing oh my god I, you know you would have thought you were watching something at jurassic park like there was a dinosaur or something down there doing jurassic something fancy park. i don't know weird the whole thing was weird the whole thing is not worth the money <laughs> don't go. Uh, i know if you there's probably people maybe watching this us for the first time saying because I can already see the comments. You guys are whiny, little, oh, little bitches. Well, yeah. no. I challenge you to go through our history of three plus years <laughs> worth of videos and find more than five where we complain about anything. You didn't blow $80 on a day that was just completely, completely not even How, how do you keep inflating the price? It was only 65 20 40 60 for oh, us. Oh, it was 85 Never mind. I forgot about the wife. 20 yeah. 40 60 for us and 20 hours fucking parking. I yeah, mean, 85 bucks. You're right. I mean... You know, I was just thinking, yeah. So, I mean, it was like it was a lot of money. It, it was a lot of money for you know, junk. It was. So. It was like, think of like the worst bike night in your area, <laughs> where like 10, 15 people show up and it's not very good and there's nobody there, and, and then and then saying you had to pay twenty bucks just to, to go. get in the parking lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about that. That's kind of what the equivalent was. So. That's it, man. That's, that's all, all. That's all we got. That's all I got. It's. Uh, I just. I don't want to see this come up again next year. I don't want to see it and be like, oh, let's give it another chance, because no. you know, it's kind of. I always do that, and I don't want to be sucked in again. So please, okay. next year, don't put do your it. foot down. I won't do it. We won't <laughs> put do it. Put your foot down. We're not doing it. Horrible. Don't go. Zero out of ten. Do not attend. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Negative two out of ten. <laughs> That's it, guys. Listen, Hopefully, somebody else will put on a show somewhere in our region that we can get to in the winter because you're desperate for motorcycle action this time of year out here. Yeah. Uh, but no matter how desperate you are, do not attend the Atlantic City International motorcycle, motorcycle Show. It is not international. So if you made right. it this far, listen to us rant. Hit that subscribe button. You know, give us a like. Ring the bell so you know when we up- upload new videos. And uh, we'll check you out in the next one.